Hey there everybody. Um, so I've been getting a lot of email requests uh, and messages on YouTube about asking if and when I'm going to have tabs up for some of my hymns uh, and hymn arrangements. Uh, unfortunately I haven't done any tabs, um, but one of the other questions that I've gotten quite a bit about is, uh, or gotten a lot of questions about is whether or not I'm going to put up any sort of a tutorial um, teaching how I do some of my arrangements. And so. Um, in particular, I've gotten a lot of requests for my arrangement of I Know That My Redeemer Lives. So today, what I'm going to do is give you a quick tutorial on how I do that arrangement, and hopefully this will give you all the necessary steps you need to start um, playing this arrangement on your own. So, um, it's pretty straightforward. First things first, um, as you can see here, I uh, capo on the third fret. Um, I use one of these quick lock capos for those who uh, may or may not be aware. You can pick up one of these for like $20 um, on Amazon or whatever. Um, so we start with it on the third fret and then basically the entire arrangement revolves around just about three or four chords. Um, different variations of the G chord, which is this chord here, different variations of the A chord here, different variations of the D chord, and then there's a couple others. Um, the other one is a B minor, which is this one here. It's basically a bar chord. Um, so um, with that said, basically I'll break this into kind of chunks and throughout any of this if you want to see the whole thing played without interruption or whatnot, obviously you revert to my other video and you can hear it kind of played all the way through. Um, if not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with kind of the first intro and basically the first intro, and I'm going to scoot in here nice and close so you guys can see this, uh, the, the intro is basically played uh, with the uh, third string or the, the G string and the E string or the sixth string and basically I'm going to take my first and third finger and we're going to be on the third and fourth frets. Fourth fret of the G string, third fret of the E string and I'm going to pluck these simultaneously and then the open note there of the second string okay, or the B string and then there's an open note there as well so just kind of see what I'm doing here, I'll do it nice and slow so I'm going to start there and then I'm going to jump up two frets Is jump up one or two frets for this guy, one fret for this guy, and then I'm going to get that fret right there, the fifth fret of the first string. So I'll put that together so the intro goes. And then we do it one more time. But we don't jump up, we go now to the variant form of the A chord. We do a pull off there, so it's an A with uh, my third finger on the third fret of the second string there, the B string. And then I do a slide. And then we do kind of a, it's kind of like a weird C shaped chord with an open note here. So I'm going to put that all together for you to hear that. So it goes. Okay. So that's the intro. Then we go into a, a G-shaped chord. This is like a variant G chord, and I'm super not technical with any of my playing as far as um, specific names or whatnot. So all of the uh, formally trained people can cringe at this, but basically I'm just going to tell you uh, this is how I learned to play. I play by ear pretty much, so um, I'm not a, a technical master at all the different notes and chord shapes and variations and whatnot. That's something that uh, eventually I'll, I'll discipline myself and get better at, but basically I just kind of play it as I hear it and try and describe it as best I can. So uh, so this is kind of a, a G variation and so we start there, that's the first note there. So that's the first chord and then we go into another uh, A chord and then we do on the third string here, the G string A D chord. So I'll put that together. That's going to be the primary building block of the verse. So I'll 
slow that down again and do that one more time. So we do, and we play them together. So we do. the kind of uh, next part of it where it goes notice I hit that note there and then we're straight D chord and then we open that note and then we go into another G variation A variation or we're, it's, it's an A type chord, but we're, we're just opening that A note there. So, and then we go back to that same verse. So you get kind of that point. So, so we then we go into so we go to the first. I think I led you astray there. So so basically, then we're going to go to kind of the main uh, kind of chorus part. If that's what you want to call it. So then we go into the. So basically, for that again, it's kind of like a D, but. Or actually, it's more like an A. So, so we've got that second finger on the second fret of the second string, and then open note on the E, and we hit the A string together. And then we go straight to another A chord, just basic A, D chord. sliding around that goes on and we go here and then back to that G variation and then D again and then what I do is I go into kind of like a D chord within within this finger Same thing as before. Let me go into. changes here is we now go into a B minor back to an A and G chord D here this is a D that's pretty much it that's you know I don't know if this was a little too fast for you you can always pause it and kind of check out this the fingerings there um, and then also if you want to see it from start to finish without interruption just check out and reference the other video but that's essentially uh, my arrangement uh, for I know that my Redeemer lives so let me scoot back here uh, if you still have any questions feel free to email me you can reach me 
uh, directly at chadwalner at yahoo.com. Um, and hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial video. Hope this helps you learn how to play this arrangement so you can start playing it on your own. Thanks for watching. See you later.